Welcome to Good Morning Football, hours away from a role reversal revenge game situation. Kirk Cousins going to Minnesota, uh, or no, in Minnesota, facing Kate Keenum, who used to play for Minnesota, ipso facto Adrian Peterson, facing his team, an old, wily veteran running back, going up against uh, a team that has the running back who leads the league in rushing. It's incredible. Yeah. There'll be a lot of this going on. Skull! Let's go. Let's go. And it won't Roll be Case Keenum this reversal time. Reversal right. revenge game. It's Thursday. Thursday Night Football is tonight right here on NFL Network. My name's Kay Peter Schrager. Kyle Branter here and straight off the yacht, Sean O'Hara. Looking good, How Sean. How you doing? It's easy to grin. <laughs> when your ship comes in. Yeah, we got it. Stop we got it. Judge Smalls, we got it. Guys, you know what else we have so much of right now? Trade action. Yeah. Trade action's hot in these streets. So as we get closer to the deadline, Peter, if only we had a device, some technology with which to calculate She's trades. She's alive. She's alive. We call her C. She's the trade bot 1000. Peter will tell you some wild stuff about what could go down. Yannick and Gakwe moving addresses. Would Yannick be part of the process? This makes me uncomfortable. Could be. Way you you know, sometimes your fantasy it. trade decisions, they aren't black and white. Today we're going to do a, a fantasy segment having to do with gin joints, fly boys, and bug eyed Bettys. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Film noir fantasy. Don't miss it. We sure, we sure are, big cheese. That's right. Okay, you are some kind of dame. And then there's a huge slate of games this weekend. We got people everywhere. Philly, New Orleans, Carolina, oh, hey. Houston, Minneapolis. I feel like Howard Dean. Vikings versus Washington. Take back the White House. Wow, let's go. Lead block. And you're seeing Bridgewater there. So we've got some curious quarterbacking situations, mm. decisions being made. We'll go over the whole landscape of the NFL and how that affects your favorite team right here on Good Morning Football. But let's talk TNF kicking off week eight in Minneapolis. Our guy Tom Pelissero right. is there. Uh, we got to talk about Kirk Cousins. Nobody is having a better three-week stretch than he is. But his receiver, Adam Thielen, uh, came up with an injured hamstring in week seven after scoring a touchdown. What can you tell us about his status for tonight? Okay, Adam Thielen is out for this game, but it's not for a lack of trying. He was pushing over the past couple of days to try to get himself ready. In fact, Thielen was trying to talk the Vikings into putting him back into the game on Sunday after he suffered the injury. The answer was the same then from the athletic training staff. It's a long season. we got to protect you from yourself. Relatively minor hamstring strain for Adam Thielen. My understanding is the plan is for him to be back for their next game, November 3rd, against Kansas City. Now, we all know that stopping the Vikings means stopping Dalvin Cook, but certainly with Thielen out, you would think the Redskins would pay a little more attention to taking away Stephon Diggs. Here's one name that America is going to get introduced to tonight. Ola B.C. Johnson, seventh round draft pick out of Colorado State, made the team out of camp. He's a guy who moved up to the number three receiver spot after Chad Beebe got injured. 13 catches over the past four games, just scored his first touchdown against the Lions. I talked to him this week. He said, it's huge, but it's just football. That's my mindset. Just don't make it bigger than it is. Live in the moment, guys. Tom, we love a deep cut like that here at Good Morning Football. It's also been a long time, it feels like it, since Kirk Cousins was apologizing to his teammates. Since then, he has been the hottest quarterback in the league for three weeks. You're there in the building. Do you feel the vibe that this continues tonight in prime time? Well, after Cousins lit up the Lions on Sunday, he said, you don't ride a confidence roller coaster. He insists that he is still the same guy. And when he met with the media, he really downplayed this meeting against his former team, the Redskins, saying he's played former coaches and teammates before, also expressing gratitude that they had rescued him in the fourth round of the 2012 draft. Now, one thing the Vikings talk about a lot is doing things around Cousins to give him a chance to be successful. One thing that Cousins does really well is play action. And that's something the Vikings have been executing at a high level especially the little details that really sell the play action. I spoke recently with offensive coordinator Kevin Stefanski, who told me it needs to look like, taste like, smell like the run. Well, there was a play in Detroit on Sunday where it's a fake zone right handoff to Delvin Cook. He gets pops by Snacks Harrison. The crowd goes wild. My eyes are there. Everybody else's eyes are there. Kirk Cousins comes out the back door and completes a pass. Nobody in the NFL has more touchdown passes or a higher passer rated off play action this season than Kirk Cousins, guys. And since week five, they're averaging 36 points a game going up against Washington tonight. We'll see if they can click on all cylinders. Uh, thank you so much, Tom Pelissero. Ten touchdowns, just one interception for Kirk Cousins in the past three weeks. It's all happening tonight. He wants to make a statement. He wants to do that dead arm dad dance in the end zone. But Adrian Peterson looking to lead Washington to victory against his old squad. Redskins, Vikings tonight. At 8 p.m. Eastern, storylines with the lower stakes high on NFL Network Fox and streaming on Prime Video. 
Um, Sean, all eyes are on Kirk Cousins tonight. What's at stake? Yeah, did you say steak? Sure, I'll take some. Hey, now. Um, for Kirk Cousins, look, I, I know everybody's watching him because of the primetime thing. He's 0-4 on Thursday Night Football. So, yes, this is about Kirk Cousins getting the win. But it doesn't have to be about Kirk Cousins to get the win. And I think that's what Kirk Cousins has to put into his head right now. Look, I don't have to go out and be a superstar. I don't have to throw the ball 58 times. I know I don't have Adam Thielen. Stefan Diggs, sure, I'm going to take some deep shots, but I've got the – this is the best supporting cast I've ever had in my career. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let them do their thing. Okay. And I'm going to make this not about me. I, I think Kirk Cousins, you know, we're talking about how he's got the dad jokes and all that. Sure. But it is about him. He realizes that it's my job to not mess it up. Mm-hmm. That's really what I want to see from Kirk Cousins. Can't, can't. Don't put your team at risk by, by being careless with the football. Mm-hmm. Can't lose this game, okay? Can't lose this game. Can't blow it. You can't. Just can't lose this game. That's what it is. It's the Redskins. They're a hobbling team walking into your building. On Thursday Night Football, when the rap on Kirk Cousins his entire career is he cannot win in primetime, right? He's lost his four games on Thursday Night Football. He's also lost some terrible games at the end of the season in recent years. The Bears game last year was a home game in which the Bears were basically playing for nothing, and Cousins and the Vikings didn't win. And now, Sean, I hear what you're saying, saying it's not just on Cousins. It's, that's not the NFL. It's a quarterback's league, and he is the face of that team right now. Winning it, throwing for 500 yards and eight touchdowns, it's great. We'll wake up Friday. We'll talk about the games on Sunday. If he loses this game on Thursday night, all of the last three weeks is for naught, and we're talking about that on yeah. Friday morning. So, to me, you cannot lose this game. Does he have to throw for a million? I don't care. Cannot lose this game. It's a regular season game, but it's a very significant one just because of the stakes that are at hand for the, co- the quarterback. I'm looking for a new conversation. I'm sick of the Kirk Cousins primetime thing. It's, it's low-hanging fruit. It's rote, and it's often – objectively incorrect. Guys, we have to understand the difference between Kirk Cousins hasn't won in primetime versus what he often hears, Kirk Cousins is terrible in primetime, which is a lie. Here's what's going to happen tonight. The network's going to put up the graphic that Kirk Cousins is 5-13 and 13 in primetime games. What they will not put up is that Kirk Cousins' passer rating, completion percentage, yards per game, are all better in prime time than they are in afternoon games. That's a fact. They won't put up the Kirk Cousins' defenses in prime time, give up 31 points per game. They won't put up that in 2017 against the Eagles, he lit them up and lost in prime time. Or last year, he lit up the Rams and lost in prime time. Everybody screaming that he sucks in prime time is a terrible, incorrect take. He has to change that tonight, and I think he will. He sucks in Seven, prime time. 70, no, he doesn't. He sucks in prime time. Oh, is that, game, that, game, no, he doesn't. That, that game against the Rams, they had a chance to march right down. He fumbled the ball. They lose. Like, they I, couldn't I think you're stop at him all day, Peter. They the Bears game last year. As a Bears a fan, game. you watched that game. game. Terrible game. That was, I mean... Peter, we, we're going to go down the line and see every quarterback has bad games. I think by saying he's terrible in prime time, it's not a good look. It's not a good look for us. His record is bad. He plays really well and his teams lose. It's, his it's record happened. is 0-4 on Thursday night, looking to get that first win for his career tonight up against the Redskins. Keep it here. We'll be breaking it down all show long. Sean, do you want to mediate any of this? You I won't stand for fake news. I, I, think, it's, I, I, think, it's, I, I think it's great. Of course it is. Here's, it's here's, what's, here's what's going to happen it's now optic. because optics optic. are fake news. Like, How important is it? So you're saying we can lose tonight? Appreciate you still numbers. be on board with him? No, of course not. I can't lose to the Redskins. I'm saying the idea that people say, oh, he always is terrible in prime time, is a lie, objectively. What's at it's stake not. for him tonight? Answer the question. What's at stake for Kirk Cousins tonight? I'm not sure about the question. I, I, what's at stake is that he, he can lose the game to a bad team, and then that would be a bad look for him. He's played really well in prime time. I think he'll continue to tonight. What has changed with you, Kyle, that you were the hook for hook fish, fish for real, real reels you in and then throws you back? I feel like I just don't want you to get your heart broken. Okay, it's a great point, and I got big fonted yesterday. What that means at this table is... What is big fonting? I said yesterday, I said, I'm in. Kirk Cousins just turned the corner. I believe in it. They put in huge letters on Instagram, and every single reply was, this tweet will not age well, this tweet will not age well. People don't believe... I've seen over three weeks of different Kirk Cousins we've seen in his whole career, mm. and I think he has turned the corner, and I'll ride with it. Okay, to answer your question, love is at stake. All right, his phrase was, you like that. Everybody likes what sure. he's done the last three weeks. He has to do it a fourth time. Like, you, in, order to, in order to take that next step in the okay. relationship, in order for it to become love, yes. he's got to win. Have Can't you been listening right. to the Selena Gomez song on repeat, too? Yes. Oh, you're just like me. I can't we'll be back what, after I can't this. remember what the device was, though. I was I'm listening. Good Morning Football. It's Redskins. Traveling to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. We got all your storylines.